and a beautiful beach. This is Galveston Beach, named after a uh, Spaniard hero or a Cuban hero, actually, Mr. Um, Bernardo Conde de Galvez. And today's Labor Day 2019. And everybody's celebrating. But I can assure you, I mean, it's a guarantee that if I ask any of these guys out here, why, what is it that you are celebrating? They will have no clue. Absolutely no clue. There's a lot of beautiful people out here on this street, walking and swimming, and I'm thinking about uh, going and doing the same, but it's hot. <laughs> it is extremely hot, and I'm so comfortable inside my car. So much beautiful people out here. And of course, I I like to question you guys up there on, on the YouTube channel, viewing my channel. Do you know what are we celebrating today on Labor Day 2019? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure you know what it is. Because people that I uh, New text message around, the they, uh, they're extremely uh, well educated. But for those of you watching the channel and they uh, and, and you do not know, we are celebrating Labor Day because uh, the United States Congress uh, adopted this day to basically uh, pacify the uh, the unions, the uh, the labor unions so in the nineteen. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, 1894, 1896, in those, uh, in those times. And they, uh, the world actually celebrates May 1st, May 1st. And the reason is the following. Uh, throughout the history of the United States, uh, the industrialists, uh, people like Rockefeller and, and and all these uh, personalities, they actually, in my opinion, they, uh, they actually created what we have today, the, the empire of the uh, powerhouse of economic powerhouse of the United States. So I'm not beating on these people. Uh, actually, it, it was extremely um, uh, beneficial to the United States have these people out here. And uh, and they advanced technologies and so on, but it was a it was a conflict. It was a, a tremendous conflict because yes, they did advance the United States on the back of the workers, on the back of immigrants, on the back of uh, slaves, on the back of uh, the native. They stripped down everything to create something new. And uh, in the late 1800s, uh, 1894, 1896, uh, 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 the workers finally decided we have enough and we want, we want uh, 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 protection. We want be being, we being protected, being protected by the, uh, by the United States government. So they, they created unions, unions, labor unions, and uh, they did not work out too well. And the reason is, they, as when you unionize, when, when you get when you get um, uh, people to get together, they become extremely powerful. So powerful they can take over whatever. It's an army, 
And that is what happened. The uh, industrialists decided if these people get to be powerful, we will lose everything that we have. So they went to the uh, United States government and state govern governors, and they actually outright bought them out. They just pay for for their militias. They pay for the armies, literally, no figurative. And everything was fine until 1903. In 1903, something extreme happened. And we call it today the Lula Massacre in Colorado, in Lula, Colorado, uh, near Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, the, uh, the industrialists uh, had a, uh, a strike on their hands. So they pay the uh, governor of Colorado to go up there and dismantle the whole the whole party that they have going, and that is exactly what happened. And the uh, the industrialists actually pay for the uh, national guard to uh, go out there and, and destroy them, break them apart, stop the uh, the labor movement. So they show up in Lulac. Colorado on the train with a machine gun. One of the first machine guns ever, you know, in, in using uh, in uh, uh, against civilians, against, against the the people of the United States, and uh, the United States of America. This is not the United States of Mexico. This is the United States of America. So they go out there and slaughter everybody, children, women, everybody. I mean, it was it was literally a massacre so after that happened um, uh, the uh, it, it was it got so bad that the fa finally Congress have to intervene and that is the reason that we have May 1st and uh, uh, the uh, I think it's the last weekend of September uh, as set up aside as a labor day, you know, for the for the people. Now you have to understand that these workers they did not even speak English. They were from all over the place, from Italy, uh, Ireland, um, uh, uh, England, France, Spain, Polish, Russians. Uh, so they were very, very well. Um, uh, 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 the exposition of people from all over the world and that is why the world actually celebrate May 1st because the United States the labor movement in the United States as a, uh, as a day to celebrate the entire planet because of it so the United States workers actually change the way workers are, are perceived the relationship in between uh, uh, industrialists and the population or, or the worker and in my opinion uh, they uh, they did advance the United States after that because we, we it was created another class of people so-called class of people uh, called the uh, or, or assign an identity as a uh, middle class the middle class so today we have a uh, uh, whoa, they have some beautiful people out here. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Oh no, that car got in my way. Let me see if I can get these beautiful people so y'all can see it. The United States have the most beautiful people in this planet. Anyway, uh, is I sort of like lost uh, my line of thought. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, the uh, the world is because uh, the labor movement today we have uh, people uh, driving cars like mine, or and people swimming in the beach in buildings like that because we have. The, the worker actually got power. It has a, it got power because they have money, have time to 
to organize and to and time for the arts and time and, and time to uh, lecture like this swimming on on beaches so all that together is a chain is a chain if, if you have the money and the time to spend your money that will bring new uh, 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 new necessities and new technologies and new industries like this this place that we drive in today uh, named after uh, Bernardo Conde de Galvez is here because that reason because the union movement and the industrialist uh, uh, got together finally and the United States government decided that, hey it's enough it's enough and culminated with that massacre that I was telling you about now in 1980 uh, it was another movement and the movement was anti-union and the reason is the unions become so powerful and so corrupted they they now they were overtaking the industrialists they became more more powerful than industrialists so they were having uh, uh, that wealth transported back to the politicians so normally the way it works is um, uh, the politician pay the uh, the the, uh, the po I mean, I'm sorry the industrialist pay the politicians the politicians use that money to get elected that is why it costs over a million millions and millions of dollars to get elected so that money how they do it they give it to the information technologies to the television radio and newspapers and so on so they pass laws to benefit the industrialist because they are the one with the money well back back in the days after all this union movement now the union themselves have the money to pay the politicians so it was very important to have the unions in, in, in the politicians' pocket. So now everything is start coming around. It's, it's sort of like flip, because now the, the union have more power than the industrialists. And the uh, uh, politicians pass laws to benefit the, uh, the unions. So now is another conflict come along. So it turned out in 1980, the, um, uh, uh, during the president, uh, uh, Ronald Reagan, the, um, the, the, the industrialists finally got to be on top. So they got control again of the government. And now you have, um, uh, now you have uh, uh, the, uh, a, a different scenario. Now you have a different movement. So now the money used to go from the industrialists to the politician to the information technologies and they pass the laws to benefit the, uh, uh, the industrialists. Now in 1980, now something happened is the, the biggest industry was the information technologies when the invention of the internet and so and, and satellites and so on. So now, uh, guess what happened? Now the uh, industrialist in the in the communication and information industry realized they were the powerful because they can control the politician. They can they can throw their information to either side to anyone that they wanted to. So now what they did, the information technology industry decided we need to get rid of the unions because. It's better for us, and that is where we are today. Today, now, who is in control is the information technologies. And now, another problem came along with it because the information technologies now they are controlled by people they are not from here, like Rupert Murdoch and all these guys. These people they have no interest whatsoever in the growth of the United States of America worker. So now we have middle, middle um, uh, 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 
workers uh, or middle class workers and and they, they they passing laws against them now they are attacking uh, immigrants to to confuse everyone and that is where we're standing right now and this is what we're celebrating today right here in Galveston Beach we're celebrating uh, the uh, the label the labor movement in the uh, 1800, late 1800s, early 1900s, and actually all the way to today. And it's beautiful to see people, the United States of America citizens, having this opportunity to 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 be themselves and to uh, into and to have time for the arts and to have time for visiting movie theaters and and music and and barbecue and and. And uh, having the opportunity, like me, to just cruise around because, you know, I enjoy it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys uh, will, uh, will enjoy the, uh, the holiday. And don't forget why uh, you are celebrating today or why you had the opportunity. And that, the, that opportunity was given to you by people who actually die seeking it. So when you attack the unions, analyze the data, you know, where you come from, why, why all this anti-union movement, why the unions have become so corrupt that we actually, the workers, don't want them, uh, why the politicians are acting the way they do, why do we have English, Englishmen, on our Hollywood movies, why we don't have our own workers, our own actors and actresses? Why the the foreign uh, 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 information technologies uh, are taking over our our Hollywood stars and and so on? Remember, they cannot play up there. They can play here, but no no Hollywood star can go out there and and play in England. So analyze that, you know, why CNN is now uh, uh, full of English speakers, not native American speaker and, and, and so on. So analyze that data before you start uh, pointing fingers and attacking uh, unions and attacking the industrialists. Because we do too need the industrialists. We need everybody. Well, hopefully you enjoy it.